Audacious Church and welcome to our daily devotions. Uh, my name's Catherine and I'm one of the pastors at Manchester, here in Manchester and also the Audacious College Dean and um, hope that you are having a good day today wherever you are and um, I'm excited about these few moments that we've got together now. Uh, I want to read to you from Psalm 46, verse 10, something that God has been re-bringing to the surface within me and speaking to me about this uh, scripture again. And the title of this devotion today is, I am who you say I am. Perhaps just repeat that when you're listening to this in the car, or if you're on a walk, or if you're making tea, just say uh, after me, I am who you say I am. Uh, I want to read from Psalm 46, verse 10, and it says this, Be still and know that I am God. I will be honoured by every nation. I will be honoured throughout the world. Amazing. Um, I don't know whether you've ever had... Um, an unwelcomed visitor come knocking at the door of your house um, and uh, you've maybe hid behind the couch or pretended that you're not in I mean you know we never do that do we like ever um, but metaphorically speaking just recently I had an old enemy um, called the fear of failure you may be familiar with it uh, come knocking um, very loudly um, at the door of my heart and my mind, uh, perhaps triggered by a few circumstances, but nevertheless um, causing real uh, disruption as fear does within my heart and my, and my mind and it was extremely loud and fears like this can within us can create barriers can't they of living in the promise and the truth and even you know the culture that we are as a church um, and the freedom that we know that we can live in and we can either respond by you know running and hiding hiding behind the couch but actually you know just avoiding situations trying to avoid any opportunities where we might fail or perhaps like me you can you know push and strive in order to kind of prove to ourselves in some strange way that we're not failing or even worse that we're not a failure but believe me trust me both of these responses have tried and tested and they do not work um moses in the bible in the Bible found himself in a similar position uh, in one of my favorite books of the Bible you know in chapter 3 he's just full of excuses and hang-ups and fears but God does something profound in verse 14 he not only introduces himself but he invites Moses and um, into a life-giving and a life-saving relationship um, that revolutionizes Moses Moses's life um, you know he says in verse 14 um, I am who I am you know he announces that he is the unchanging the self-existent God who has no equal and in the light of this truth Moses um, move a little bit in time and to chapter 14 he stands in this truth that has been revealed to him with the courage and conviction um, before the uh, Israelite people and says in chapter 14, verse 14, the Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. So church today, I want to encourage you with this truth. We need not strive. There's nothing really for you to prove. We just need to be still in the truth that we are his. You belong to him. That he will make a way for you. He's already gone before you. He is your rear guard. And we need to trust in the process that we are who he says we are. We love you church and I praise blessing and favour over you today and have a great day. Bye.